Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the Veeam backup tool for Windows. This is a free utility where you could do either file level backups, uh, volume level, or image level. So in today's video we're going to show you the volume backup and the uh, file backup, and then we'll probably do a separate video for the image backup so we could restore it um, and see how that works. All right, so once you download and install it, you'll notice you have several different components here. So if we go to uh, Veeam, You got the configure backup, create recovery media if you want to do recovery media for your computer. It'll ask you to do that after you run it the first time. Uh, file level restore, so once you set up a file backup, you use this. Uh, the Veeam agent, and then the volume restore if you're doing a uh, volume restore, which is what we have done already. Okay, so for this job here, it's already been set up. And it's already ran 38 minutes ago, so it did a full volume restore, and I'll show you how that was configured here by going to edit job here so the first part's the name so volume backup that's what I named it here the backup mode uh, this is the volume level backup you could do a file level backup or entire computer for image so that's something we'll probably do a separate video for so we could restore it and I'll show you how to do a file level backup next then it's for file level backup you pick your volume so we're going to Back up the C volume here with Windows on it, and here's our destination for the backup, so we don't want to pick that, obviously. And then you can choose Operating System, or Show Hidden Files, or Hidden Volumes, I should say. So, you know, like you have your recovery and system partition on that volume, so you can have a backup of those as well. Destination, we're going to do local storage, so we have that uh, secondary hard drive attached. You could do a shared folder, like a SIF share, but you need to know the uh, information for that. Uh, if you have a Veeam backup repository, if you have the IP address and name, you could use that. And Microsoft, Microsoft OneDrive uh, for the free edition is only supported for uh, system state backups only, so we're not going to do that. Okay, so here's our destination here. So we're going to pick up this E drive, and it'll automatically make a folder called Veeam Backup unless you tell it otherwise. And then you have some advanced options here. For uh, scheduling full backups periodically, uh, backup health checks, and defrag and compact of your backup file, and compression level if you want to change that from optimal, and so on, if you want to add a password. And then there's the schedule. You could have everyone daily. We're going to do this one manually here. And you could change the time here, or if you want to have it back up when the computer powered off, and so on, or following events when you log off. And then, then obviously the summary, but we're going to cancel this because we already have it done here. Okay, so now we have our backup right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to restore file or restore volume. That's the same thing as if you if you did one of these options here. You could just do it from the agent itself here. So we're going to, instead of restoring the whole volume, we're going to restore a file from that volume backup. So you don't, just because it's a volume backup doesn't mean you can't restore individual files. Okay, so you pick your uh, backup here. We only have the one. And then you click on open to open that volume backup. Okay, so now here's the contents of the drive. So let's say we wanted to go into this user here and documents. And let's say we want to have this uh, restore this PDF here. You could click here, restore, and you could have it overwrite or keep, or you could copy it. So let's do a copy so we don't overwrite the other one. Copy to, let's just copy to the desktop. And you can have it preserve the permissions ownership. So there we go. So there's our restored file. So that's pretty simple to do. So once again, once you create your backup, then you can either go back into the agent, restore a particular file, or restore the whole volume, then edit the job, remove the job, and so on. And then you could also do an active full backup, which will add it to the backup chain. So you'll have a chain here once you start doing more backups and it should do incremental backups so it's not going to do a full backup each time just whatever's changed 
And then you could also do a standalone full backup, which will do a separate backup out of the chain that you could back up uh, somewhere else. And then same with this option here. Okay, so that is the volume backup. So now if we click on add a new job, we can see the free edition does not support multiple jobs. So it's, if you want to do the free edition, you're going to have to choose if you want um, volume uh, image or file backups for your backup type. So let's, uh, let's remove this job. Now let's go back to add a new job. So let's call this file level backup. Next. So we're going to do a file level backup. Next. So here you could do the whole C drive if you want, or you could do personal files, which would do desktop document pictures and so on. And then you could uh, check or uncheck these. Like I don't want, let's say, downloads or favorites or music or roaming profiles. I just want to do uh, my desktop documents and pictures and videos. I don't have videos. Let's just do these folders here. So click OK. Next. OK, we're going to choose local storage again, the same drive right here. Let's see first what happened to that all the other volume backup job here. OK, so it kept that volume backup. The job's done, but the volume backup itself is still there. So that's fine. OK, we're just going to add that to it. And then you can change the settings here again. Uh, no schedule. OK, so here's the summary. And then you could have it run when you click Finish. So let's do that. OK, so this is backing up. So I'm going to pause the video, and then we'll uh, come back and see how it looks when it's done. OK, so our backup is done. So it was pretty quick because there wasn't a lot of stuff we're backing up. So we can go to the same thing here. We go to Restore File, pick the job, open. And you can see we have the two users that are on this computer and desktop documents and pictures. OK, so now what we're going to do is we're going to run it again. We're going to add a file to the desktop here. To over this file is over two gigs, so we'll add that to the desktop. So right now this total backup seventy seven megabytes. Okay, so we're going to back up now and see what happens. Okay, so you can see here's our first one, and here's our second one, much bigger because we had that two gig file. So now if we go to the restore. So here's our incremental. Here's our first full one. So let's do this. OK, let's go to this user account whose desktop this belongs to. And you can see this uh, video file is not there because that's the first one. So let's go back to the second one here. Incremental. So incremental backup just uh, backs up changes. So let's open this. And you can see the file is there. And then these files were there previously and so on. OK, so now one more example here. I'm going to copy some other files over here, so I'll be back in a second. OK, so I copied a 700 megabyte file over here. So let's run it again. OK, so you can see the size of this uh, incremental one, 735 megabytes, which matches the size of this file here, or close. And because that's an incremental, so that's why it's smaller than this. So the first one, even though this is a full backup, it was less data backed up then the, the first incremental, because we did this 2.5 gigabyte file here, then this third incremental here was smaller than this because we did 735 megabytes compared to that. So you can kind of see how it works. 
And then when you go into your Veeam backup folder here, so now we have a file level backup. And you can see your different uh, backup files here. And they'll kind of build up. So obviously make sure you have room or set your settings to, uh, you know, only back up a certain level or a certain amount of files or a certain amount of days, that kind of thing. So you don't run out of storage space or unless you feel like coming in and cleaning it up. So, uh, you know, it's a pretty simple app here. Like I said, it's free, but you can only do one job at a time. So just decide which kind you want to use. And then you could just uh, schedule it and have it do your incremental backups or have it do a full backup every so often as well. And then you'll keep your uh, data safe. I'll put a link in the description where you could go download it and then just watch for a video on the uh, image level backup coming in the future. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.